Hello everyone. I just wanted to make hopefully a short clip of some concerns I have about veganism, uh, more particularly non-vegans for that matter. The non-vegan crowd, the non-vegetarian crowd, the non-raw crowd, right? Um, for those of you vegan or not, you've obviously come across these people. And like I have nothing against them, I just, I hope I just hope they practice some meekness sometime in their life. They just insist that veganism is stupid, illiterate, uneducated, unhealthy, all that negative stuff. They don't look at the science, they don't look at the physiological effects, the psychological effects, the health effects in general, right? They don't look at anything. They just they're, it's like they're bound to their pride. It's harder to deal with these people when they're in their 40s and 50s, and, and men especially, when they've, when they've grown up this way. Grown up eating meat and potatoes, the standard American diet. When they grow up that way, it's hard for them to convert to veganism, or live with their son that's a vegan, or their daughter that's a vegan, or have friends that are vegans, right? They're constantly spreading their love about veganism and stuff. It's hard to live with that when you're stuck in your pride that veganism? The fuck? What are you, stupid? Get some meat and get some protein and iron. Where are you getting that from? Plants? Huh? You know? These people are just so ignorant and like dulled down to the fact that they don't they don't get it. And a like, it's not that they just don't get it, it's that they don't want to get it. They don't want to understand. They want to avoid it at all costs. I just want my meat, I just want my processed foods, I just want my cheese and dairy, fish. I want salt, tons of salt. I want white sugar, I want coffee. It just, that's it for them. No variety. This is vitamin C and some bioflavonoids. It looks like puke, but it tastes like citrus runs. These are bananas. You wouldn't see a non-vegan eating more than two of these every day. I eat 10 to 15. What? 10 to 15? Are you absurd? Right? These people are just ignorant. And it's, it's cool to be ignorant. It really is. That's why vegans like me are here to try and help you understand. But you need to be more open. Open up. What's really got me making this video is that I've come across so many people that have that that are like this exactly that see a dog getting hurt especially in North America it, like in Canada in Saskatchewan where I am but I'm, I'm very sure, certain this happens all over the world and they cry about it right a dog being eaten they, they go protest it and 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 sign petitions stop eating dogs they phone the government why are you allowing them to eat dogs? That's ridiculous. What is wrong with you? First of all, all animals are the same. We're human. We can speak English. Oh. Dogs are the same as pigs. In fact, it's been said that pigs are more smart than dogs. Probably irrelevant. But a dog is the same as a pig. A horse is the same as a donkey. Right? They're all animals. We're all earthlings. We're all the same. We should all be treated equally. So if a dog is being eaten for food, and you get mad about it, why aren't you getting mad about cows being eaten, pigs being eaten, sheep being whipped and stripped of their wool so forcefully that they're crying and trying to get away, but their legs are broken, right? Cows being hung up upside down alive and their throats barely slit. Dogs being thrown against the wall and, and cooked alive, right? Pigs, same thing, hung, slow, throat slit. Chickens, beat with clubs for absolutely no reason. Where is the humanity here? Where is the humane treatment, if you think about it? Get a gun, and obviously the governments all around the world make bullets, ammunition. It's cheap, way cheaper than spending five minutes beating a chicken to death or or investing in all this equipment to hang a cow up 
or, or the same with the pig, and conveyor belts to, to transport them around the facility. Just shoot them in the head. Done deal. They're dead pretty much instantly. If they're not, shoot them again. Ammo is cheap. I don't get it. Yes, I get it that you're trying to save money because we mass produce so many food animals, billions, billions. But it would be so much cheaper just to shoot them in the cranium. How dumb are you? I'm sorry, I'm, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but where's your economy here? You don't have any. We're losing. So I, I don't, that's a whole other story, but I don't understand how people with good intentions, like my family, your family, friends of mine, friends of yours, you before you were vegan maybe, we cry over a dog getting hurt, or a cat getting hurt, or domesticated animals. We cry over them getting hurt and we protest, but we don't even think or blink or breathe or snit or whatever over an animal, a food animal, getting hurt, killed. We know about it. Ah, uh, it's bad. I know it's bad. But I'm going to go to the supermarket and buy 80 pounds of meat. It just, it's so baffling. It's astounding. It's, it's, uh, it's impeccable, really, how, like, dulled down some of these people are. I just, you, there's nothing, there's literally nothing you can do to let, like to make these people realize that you don't have to eat meat. You don't have to support it. Every time, every time you buy meat or animal products, you're supporting it. Even if you're hunting on your own, on your own private land, you're doing that, you're still supporting meat production. Because everyone else in the world knows that you're hunting indirectly and they're like, oh, we gotta make more meat. We gotta make more meat. People are hunting on their own. We gotta make more meat and make it cheaper. The best way to avoid it, fruits, veg, nuts, seeds, legumes, anything not at all directly or indirectly related to animal product production. It's so simple. This whole mindset that people have that veganism is hard, it's difficult, it's a discipline, I can't do it. So I was one of those people. Seven months ago, I, uh, I started out vegetarian. Uh, back in like nine or ten months ago, I was vegetarian. I didn't want to be vegan. I didn't. Me, Cole Boyko, didn't want to be vegan. I thought it was too hard. I thought it was extreme. Can you believe that? But it's been six or seven months, and look at me, I'm nearly a raw vegan. Like, this is the stuff I eat. I eat bananas. That's from doing my own research, looking up YouTube videos, and being inspired by people I saw. The skin, their skin, their skin was awesome. Their hair was flowing. They were lean and fit and happy and vibrant. I wanted to be like that. And how were they getting to be like that? Veganism. Raw veganism. Enzymes. Fruit. Color. Color of the rainbow, right? Exercise getting outside, connecting with nature, avoiding animal production, avoiding government stuff, right? Embracing stuff they love, and the food choices helps. So I became vegan, right? These people, you just, you can show them, you can take them to a farm. There's a farm about five kilometers from, my, from this city here, Regina, and it's, it's, a, it's cruel. They treat the pigs like garbage there. And, and cows. They treat them like absolute garbage. You can take people there and, and, and show them in person. Look what's happening. Look what's happening. This. Ripping their flesh off like it's no problem at all. Still alive. Still screaming. These people still won't change. They'll be like, oh, that's so sad, and we'll go back home and eat meat and continue buying it. How are you... How can you support this? That's my question. My point of this video, that's straight off in so many directions. How can you support this? I don't get it. Do you care about your life? Not enough, I guess. Do you care about your friends and family's lives? Not enough, I guess. Do you care about the future? Oh, that's a dumb question. Do you care about earthlings? Not enough, I guess. I just, it's, it's, it's baffling. <laughs> it's just, it's sad, it really is. 
the point is to be encouraging lead by example so if any of you vegans are struggling probably are like me right sometimes I get a little hot sometimes I just go off talking and talking but these people aren't listening hmm I don't give a shit right that's why you have to lead with example show them how your skin is turning out show them that you're becoming more lean you're losing weight you're gaining energy you're looking vibrant your hair is flowing right they'll see that and then they might want to pursue it themselves because they're going to be diseased, they're going to be sick, they're going to be weak, tired, droopy face, uh, bags under the eyes, right? Miserable. <laughs> Who wants to be those things? Don't you want to be vibrant? Don't you want to be happy and free and simple? This is, this is simple. Mangoes, papayas, dragon fruit, spinach, cantaloupe, uh, apples, lemons, a juicer, simple. I encourage everyone here just to live with some meekness, which is modesty, love, balance. With those three things, you won't be eating meat. It's impossible for animal products. So I'm going to end it here. I could talk for hours. Until further news, I shall talk to you later. I'm going to drink my vitamin C. Spicy.